Welcome to this edition of What's in the Box? If you're a first time viewer, then you're in for a real treat. You see, I get to unbox some crazy cool techie products from Rock Automation. And today I am so pumped to show you this latest Allen Bradley Guardmaster safety component. I promise, by the time this video is over, your mind will be blown. And you'll be thinking of all kinds of amazing applications where you can use this product. So let's take a look. Drum roll, please. Whoa, it's the next generation Lifeline 5 cable pull. The Lifeline 5 is all solid state, microprocessor based, strain gauge technology, completely sealed, over molded PCB, rugged construction, LED indication, OSSD outputs with a wide operating temperature range. It can also be wired in series with other OSSD safety devices such as light curtains and still keep the highest safety levels of PLE CAT4. Sorry if I just geeked on you, but these advances just enable the cable pool to be a smart safety device on the plant floor. Oh, I've gotten way ahead of myself. It's just too exciting. Let's rewind and give some background on cable pools. Cable pools function as emergency stops for machinery, such as conveyors. It is often more convenient and effective to use a cable pool device for large hazard areas to provide local e-stop capabilities without having to install e-stop buttons every five to six feet. These devices use a steel wire rope connected to latching pull switches similar to this Allen Bradley Guardmaster Lifeline 4 so that pulling on the rope at any point will trip the switch to cut off the machine power and stop the hazardous motion. Cable pull switches must detect both a pull on the cable as well as when the cable goes slack to ensure it will function when pulled. The Lifeline 4 is a widely used and successful device in the industry suitable for a broad range of applications. Rockwell Automation wanted to build upon their strong foundation of the Lifeline 4 and provide a self-monitoring unit to help reduce installation and downtime. The result is the new Allen Bradley Guardmaster Lifeline 5. The unit has a reset button with an optional e-stop. It also has two connection options, an M12 8 pin for series connections or an M12 5 pin for connecting to a safety I.O. block. Now let's check out what's in the other box. Oh, no way! It's an all stainless steel version with reset and it has an IP69K rating designed for wash down applications. It is solid, very smooth, and feels like a mini tank. Both units are Cat4 SIL3 PLE rated devices by themselves. And if you don't know what that means in the machine safety world, just know it's extra special. Notice it even has the same bolt pattern as the Lifeline 4 for easy modernization. I haven't even gotten to some of the best parts. The processor inside the Lifeline 5 monitors the force being applied to the cable to prevent nuisance tripping due to changes in cable tension that result from the expansion and contraction related to temperature changes, or boxes hitting the cables, or even people just leaning on the cable. It has the three LEDs to provide clear indication of the output status and tension setting, making it much easier to set up and troubleshoot. I think to best highlight its capabilities, I just need to demonstrate. Okay, I have my demo all set up. Notice the LEDs on the side are bright red, letting me know the safety outputs are off, along with this front amber LED flashing, letting me know I do not have tension on the cable. There is also a tension output signal that could be hooked up to a tower light to help with tension setup or can be connected to a PLC to monitor and provide feedback to an HMI. If I start tightening this cable with the Allen Bradley Guardmaster Lifeline Rope Tensioner System, whew, let's just refer to it as LRTS for short. Notice the LED indication starts to flash faster and faster as I get closer to the correct tension window. Once it stops flashing, I know I'm good. If I over tighten, the unit will start flashing again. So let me loosen it. Now we have the correct tension, and let's hit the reset. We go green. Safety outputs are on. Notice how bright the LEDs are, making it much easier to troubleshoot even if I'm further down the production line. Now let me demo the e-stop. I'm going to press it real quick. Notice the outputs drop off. 
Then I just release the e-stop and it resets. Rockwell Automation has also designed the reset button to be monitored. I'm going to pull on the cable, the Lifeline 5 tripped. Now I'll hold down the reset for about four to five seconds and a flashing fault appears, then corrects itself when I let go. Now I will press the reset in short duration and it turns on the safety outputs and LEDs go green. Let's simulate cold temperatures, tightening the cable. In the past, this could make the cable get too tight and cause nuisance tripping. I will push down on the cable and slowly watch. The Lifeline 5 is smart enough to know this is not an emergency pull. The microprocessor is looking for a certain change in tension within a short duration which classifies as a direct pull. If I pull on the cable quickly, it will stop. Also, check what happens if I lean on it or what happens if I bang on it like a box. No nuisance trips that could shut down my production. Now, I would like to demo the stainless steel unit and highlight its advantages. Again, it is rated for IP69K, so I've taken the liberty to come up with a special test just for it. Okay, in this special demo, I put the stainless steel model in some water and left it in the freezer overnight. It is now frozen in a solid block of ice. I'm going to chip some of this ice off so we can plug it up and wire it to our demo. Note, this is not the intended use of this product, nor does Rockwell Automation condone trying this in your application. Okay, I got the ice off and the unit is mounted. Time to power up and hope we don't let the smoke out. Are you kidding me? It powered up! Now let's set our tension. The light is flashing. Okay, tension is set. Here it goes, hitting the reset button. Amazing! I am speechless. I need to cut to a new scene so I can wrap my head around what just happened. Wow! Rock Automation did not disappoint with this amazing new product which shows some major advancements in cable pull technology. Just to review, this new Allen Bradley Guardmaster Lifeline 5 is well suited for applications that may face rapid temperature changes like the tire industry, or interlinking conveyors in the material handling industry, where boxes could bump the cables, or facilities that require IP69K rated field devices such as food and bev and rendering plants. Also, cold storage freezer applications at very low temperatures. You can easily see how this product can help a number of manufacturers and OEMs increase their machine production time. If you are interested in this product, please click the link at the end of this video. Thank you for viewing this episode of What's in the Box?